good, doing good. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. oh. Okay, I'm going to go up now. Good. Here comes the snow. Look at that. There's a celebration right ahead of heaven. Ha! Does that make you happy? That looks good, man. Should we try it on? Yeah, that's the right. That's the word. Thank you for the help, too. Thank you. Looks great. Oh. Man, he's got dirty. Like a bison spice. <laughs> it's full steam ahead as we work with fellow treehouse builder Fruta on our first international build. We're putting the focus back on our platform. We're up here laying out joists, and in metric, it's a 60 centimeter layout. Back at home in the States, it's uh, two feet. Lumber's a little wider, layout's pretty much the same, and let's do it. Yeah. Do it. These joists are doubled up in a such a way that they kind of slap against each other. We call that sister. Thanks for a really strong connection between those two. All right, I think that's it for today. There's a storm of ruin. There's a deck still in coming. Elizabeth wanted the treehouse to resemble the boat. So we're giving the deck a little shape as an ode to the sparkling lake nearby. Wow! We're going to take that nautical theme and uh, we're going to make a little bow here. So uh, we'll have to paint the treehouse and stand on the bow of the boat. It looks like a bow of a Viking vessel. Hey, that's the spirit we should be in, right? Viking spirit right now? building the boats that they built to get all the way across the North Atlantic? Sailing a long time before Columbus was sailing. Were they sailing or were they rowing? You know, I don't think I have enough Viking knowledge to continue this conversation. Man, where's Fruit when you need it? All right, well, keep channeling your inner Viking and uh, I'll come up with some walls in a little bit. Oh, good. Okay, that big.
since we can't have our shop back in Fall City drive out the walls to Norway, we're framing them on site. I think we're ready to pull this over. Normally, our walls go up to the platform machines can plywood, and that packs on additional weight. Okay. But since we're transporting these four suckers up by hand, we'll attach the ply once the walls are in place so we can carry a lighter load up the stairs. Many hands make for light work. In Norwegian, do they have an expression like that? No, I don't no. think so. Okay. okay, that's cool. the same way we would build them in the States, but actually the roof has many more layers than we're used to. There's a lot of ice buildup in the wintertime, so they create lots of ventilation. It's all very interesting and making us better builders, I think. This Norwegian roof has seven layers. And here it goes. I'm going to try not to butcher the language. Layer N. Rapid. Here it comes! Fantastic, guys. How do you make these so perfect, Daryl? Layer 2. Paper. Our first underlayment that will help waterproof this place. It's roof time! Raise the roof! Then comes layer tray. Some 2x2 two two sleepers that support layer ferret, our plywood. Just screw it in! Four of seven, we're more than halfway. The sleepers elevate the ply, allowing continuous airflow for ventilation. It makes a lot of sense for a colder climate. It's probably vapor diffused, it allows a little bit of air movement, so it doesn't condense. It just makes a lot more energy sense. The Norwegian roof cake is looking tastier every day! After layer femme, a second waterproofing underlayment, and layer sex, another batch of 2x2 two two sleepers, they're looking very hard. We can top this roof with final layer number shoe! Woohoo! We're learning this rule of keeping roof system, and it's like adding a board and batten layer of siding to an existing roof that's already completely waterproof. If the water gets underneath the boards, it'll shoot out on the weather barrier and go right into the gutter. Building on international soil, it's kind of like being in a classroom where you're soaking up all this great information on new techniques, and you can bring it back to the States. And there it is, all the layers. Since we're building by Lake Miosa, Ruta has one idea to bring a little nautical flair.